Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my update for Nightmare on Panning Street 2023. I'm super excited for this one. I have uh, some new roll-ins, so we'll talk about those. Uh, the project was created by my friends Valerie and Jaylon. I will have their contact information in the description box. And I will also have the link to Fantastic Ladies. This project is in collab with Fantastic Ladies. So go ahead, check them out. Um, project started on October 31st, 2023 and runs until October 31st, 2024 with monthly updates. I started with 13 prompts and I'm going to keep it at 13 prompts. Um, as soon as I meet my goal on something, I roll it out. I roll a new product in. So today we're going to talk about all of my progress. Um, if you enjoy, if you enjoy project pin videos, please give this one a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And now let's go ahead and talk about the items. Um, from uh, last time, I had a few that I met my goals on. So we'll go ahead and talk about those first. I'll, uh, I'll tell you the product I met my goal on and I'll tell you all of those and then we'll roll in for new items and I'll update you for the older uh, products that I'm still working on. The first product that I met my goal on is for Bird Box, an item you can apply without looking. Um, I was working on, let me go ahead and show you, on my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have this guy. Uh, this was in the scent Gummy Bear, I want to say. I My goal was to finish it completely. This was on a different prompt, and then as soon as I met my goal on it for that prompt, I rolled it into the same project with the goal of finishing it. So I did finish it. I was keeping track of how many uses I got out of this one. I want to say I kind of gave up around the 45, 48 uses. So somewhere around there is what I would estimate how many uses is in this guy. Lasts for a very long time. So that's the first item I um, I met my goal on since last update. Uh, the second item is for Husera, the Bone Woman, a broken item. The product that I was using was by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick and the shade is light medium. This is broken, it's still broken, nothing has changed. The packaging is broken so it's kind of like a pain to roll it up and roll it back down. Definitely made some use out of this guy. I can really see that um, you know, the change in the product. My goal was to use it 13 times. I met my goal on it. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out and roll something else in its place. The other item that I met my goal on was um, one missed call. Something you almost missed out on. And for me, that was the NARS Climax eyeshadow palette. I wanted this one so badly when I saw it in store and then it was sold out. So I signed up for to be notified as soon as it became available on Nars's website. I ordered it and then it went out of stock. Um, I'm so happy I picked this guy up. It's so, so pretty. I've used this one shade over here multiple times, like all over the lid. I combined it with the uh, Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Um, so I would reach for the two uh, palettes together. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Most of the looks I created when I reached for this one were just mainly uh, from this palette, except with like once or twice, I used this shade with the retro palette from Natasha Denona. My goal was to reach for this palette 13 times. I met my goal on it. Time for me to roll it out and roll something else in its place. And then the last item that I met my goal on was for Rosemary's Baby, a new item in your collection. And I was using my Chanel uh, Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. Uh, I wanted to use this one 13 times, which I did meet my goal on. I used it 13 times. I definitely see a difference in like use, you know, like because it, it goes up. So definitely I see a gap in there now. It's a beautiful like tint. I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm happy to have used it 13 times. I'm going to go ahead and roll it out and put something in its place. So these are the items, the four items I'm at my goal on. I rolled for all four of them, but I only started working on two out of the four that I rolled um, because they were just recent that I rolled for the new ones. So let's talk about what I ended up rolling in and what, I, um, and what I'm using. The first one that I rolled in is for Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a duo or double-ended product. I don't know if you guys remember these. 
the, if anybody <laughs> would remember these. These are by Dose of Colors and these are the Ideal Duo. It's loose pigment and a primer. They come in a little tiny like duo thing. I remember when these first came out, all of these influencers were talking about it. Oh my goodness, I just opened the shimmer side and like thankfully I, I didn't have it like leaning on me. Otherwise, it would have made a total mess on my outfit. Let me go ahead and swatch the cream side first and then I'll swatch um, the uh, the loose shimmer on it so even if I use the cream by itself uh, it's just so pretty I mean look at that color it's gorgeous so the idea is you would use the cream side and then you would top it with the shimmer to kind of like set the cream in place and get a little bit more shimmeriness to the look so I'm gonna do just that and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I could probably use the shimmer by itself too. Um, I don't have to use it to use them together, but to lock that um, cream in place to use the shimmer. Oh my Lord, that's gorgeous. That is so beautiful. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be working on, you guys. Um, this came from the deep depth of my collection i'm like what am i gonna use what am i gonna use i haven't shown these products i have two of them i have this shade this is the shade shell and i have another shade of this duo product i haven't used them in years and years and years and they're just so beautiful i mean it was i remember when they were so hyped up on youtube oh my gosh this is like og youtube um so here we go i do want to reach for this product 10 times in total whether i use the cream by itself or the powder or whatever um 10 times 10 different looks with it so that's my goal okay the other item that i rolled in uh the prompt is for the movie psycho an item you use in the shower this is the one one of the products that i've started using um already since i like i rolled uh, I've used it once so far since I rolled for it. And this is by Curls. This is the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. Um, this is a deep conditioner. You're supposed to leave it on for 15 minutes. So it's kind of like a pain to do it, but it actually does really nice stuff for my hair. Uh, I do want to finish this guy up. I There's quite a bit of product in here. Like you don't need a whole lot. Um, so... I would estimate I have maybe three or four more uses out of this container. Um, so that's kind of like, I have to plan for it. The times that I do want to use it because I do want to leave it on my hair for as long as I can to get the most benefits. But I do want to finish this guy. And um, yeah, I think my hair could totally use extra deep conditioning. No question about it. Um, the third item was for the movie, The Orphan, an anti-aging item. Um, I have also used this one. I think I've used it three times already. Um, when I think about anti-aging, I think mainly retinol. Um, that's, you know, that's what I think about. This guy is Pure Peach Retinoic Eye Cream by Peach and Lily. This is an eye cream and... Like I said, I've used it three times so far. I like the formula of it. It's kind of thin, so it's easy, like it absorbs easily. It does not leave like a greasy, thick feeling on my eye area. Um, I use it at nighttime, um, so I do want to finish it. So here's another to finish item. And then the last new roll in is for the movie It Follows, something you can't get rid of. Uh, I thought about it in a different way than my typical like, oh my gosh, I've been painting it forever and I can't seem to finish it. Instead, I thought about it as a product that I've hoarded in my collection for God knows how long and I don't want to get rid of it because at some point it used to be an absolute favorite and that's a foundation. I figured since I rolled out a foundation, I can roll in a new one. Uh, this is by Guerlain. This is L'Essential Natural Glow Foundation 16 Hour Wear with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Uh, sorry, 20. And I have it in the shade 035N. The SPF in here definitely is expired. This is an older product, but I cannot seem to let it go. Can't seem to declutter it. Can't seem to finish it. Can't seem to be able to do anything with it. So I do want to use it 10 times. I want to see, do I still love it like I used to? And if it works for me for with those 10 uses, then it's going to stay in my collection. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to love it. I'm going to use it. If I hated it, I'm going to declutter it at the end of uh, my 10 uses. So there we go. I know I'm changing my goals instead of 13 uses. I was doing 13 uses on some products to 10 uses. 
I just feel like it's easier to kind of keep track of things and I'm doing quite a few projects and I want to be able to be successful in my projects. So I don't want to set myself up for failure. I think 10 uses would be a good point on the new products that I have, but the older products that I needed 13 uses on, I'm going to keep it at that and just until I meet my goal. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the products that are still remaining in the project. I'll show you my progress and then, or I'll tell you my progress. Okay, so uh, first is for a nightmare on Elm Street. Something you sharpen or need to cut into the packaging to get to. Uh, I am working on an eye pencil. Uh, <laughs> and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Barbarella Brown. You know, I stupidly got rid of the sheet where I marked my progress or my starting point. But this baby was, I mean was big if i can find a picture of how it looked on my hand when we first started the project i'm using this baby and i'm loving 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 it i use it for tight lining that's what i use it for i i really really enjoy it i've been happy with it my goal is to finish this one you know as much as i can and so i'm still working on it um i love it i'm really happy that i'm using it and i'm going to continue to use it until it's gone uh, next up, we have uh, It, a product that reminds you of high school. Oh my goodness. I have a Victoria's Secret body mist. When I think about high school, I think about body mist. Quite a bit of that. Um, I mean, I had perfumes, but not so much. So body mist it is. And I had this one that I really wanted to finish. Sentimental. It is. I, I like it. I really enjoy this uh, body mist, but it's getting old and it's time to let it go. Um, this was my starting point. This was my first update and this is my current update. I do want to finish this guy up. I've got my, I've got a lot of work left on this one. I'm mistaken a long, long time to use it, but I am still going to go ahead and uh, finish it up. That's my goal on it. Okay, let's move on. The next prompt I have is for the movie The Baba Duke. Something with a weird name. Um, or an item that is hidden in the deep dark recesses of your drawer and for me it was kind of like both this kind of checked both it's a weird name and it was hidden in my drawer and this is the Farsali liquid glass radiance makes skin serum this is so pretty you guys I love using it under my foundation as a primer it's beautiful like my foundation goes on so pretty my goal was to use it for 13 times I am currently at 11 uses. I have two more uses and I would meet my goal with this one. Um, honestly, I feel like this is something I would love, love, love to finish this year. I'll probably put it in a different project. I'll go for something else after it, but I am enjoying it. I'm loving it so much. So there's that one. I have two more uses and I'll meet my goal. I'm pretty sure I'll end up meeting my goal pretty soon before my next update. I'm trying to like space things out, like not just focus on one project at a time. I'm like using all of my products from all of my other projects, you know, kind of playing with all of that. And I do like to shop my stash. So it takes me a little while, but we'll get it done. The next uh, prompt I have is for the movie, The Exorcist. Something for something that's so pretty it makes your head spin. I am working on my Clé de Peau highlighter. This is called uh, what is the actual name of it? The Luminizing Face Enhancer, and the shade that I'm using is 202 Golden Galaxy. Uh, my goal is to use it 13 times. I've used it 10 times so far. I have three more uses. It is so, so pretty. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing a different highlighter that's in a different project, but this is so pretty. Um, I get the most compliments on my makeup. Most of the time I am wearing this highlighter. It just gives me that glow to my skin. The shade is just perfect for me personally. Um, and it just gives such a beautiful, beautiful sheen and glow to my face without it being like too metallic. Um, I'm loving it. I am going to continue to use it. Three more uses. I can do it. I just need to wear makeup more often. <laughs> For a lot of these, it's like, I just need to wear makeup more often. I haven't been wearing makeup enough times. Uh, moving on, the hills have eyes. Something for the eyes. And I am using Patrick Ta. 
uh, Make It Major Multidimensional Eye Topper. And this is in the shade It's Giving Rich. I have used it 10 times, so I have three more uses in this guy. Oh my goodness, I think this is gonna end up being a product that I end up either decluttering or I don't know what I'm gonna do with this or maybe like mix it with my body lotion when I go on vacation. Um, I have it on my eyes today. It's a really hard product. It's very flaky, like it's chunks of glitter. It's not like um, shimmer or like uh, pigment or any of that. It's like full on glitter pieces. I, I wore it today and I was talking, uh, I went to my son's school, I was talking to one of the teachers and I got a piece of glitter in my eye and here I am rubbing my eye, rubbing my contact, have like a big like tear line, I couldn't fix it. I'm like, whatever, we need to film, it's okay. But this product, it's, it's, it's making me hate Patrick Ta for how crappy the shit is. I, excuse me, but this is one of the f worst eye toppers I've used. Like comparing this to the Gwen Stefani eye sequins, hello, they're gorgeous. They stay in place. They're not chunky glitter that get in your eye. Anyway, three more uses of this one. I don't promise that I'm gonna use it on my eyes. I might actually just use it on my like decollete or mix it with my foundation, or not foundation, my body lotion but I need to use it two more times and I'm gonna still do it. I I, I mean, I'm gonna do it. Um, I would not recommend. I, I don't even know if they're still around or they got discontinued right away because they not really working for the eyes. Anyways, all right, the next prompt we have is for the movie The Nun, a product with black and white packaging. And I'm using this baby. This is by Gwen Stefani. This is Original Me Original Recipe Lipstick. It's so beautiful. It smells amazing. Oh, and I totally got it on my nose. It smells so good. It really, really does. And it's pretty. It's beautiful. It's a very pretty color. Um, I am not marking every time I wear it and I reapply it. I'm just, I want it 10 different days of wearing this lipstick. Sorry, 13 different days of wearing this lipstick. So if I reapply, like I already reapplied today, that's still one use. I'm not doing that again. I don't know why I did it that way, but I'm not going to do that again at all. Um, so far I have used it nine times. I need four more days of this red lipstick. And I have like two other red lipsticks and two other projects. I'm like, ah, oh, what are you doing, Ronia? But yes, um, four more days of using that baby. Next time, whenever I pull in a lip product, I'm counting the use. Like if I reapply, that's a new use. Um, I don't know why I did it this way, but since I started it kind of that way, I'm just gonna continue it that way for, for this one. Okay, and then we had some new roll-ins last update. One was for the movie Carrie, an item that's a sin not to have in your collection. And for me, that would be a setting spray. This is by Smashbox. This is the photo finish setting spray, the weightless. This is where I started. This is where I am now. I do wanna finish it. So we're gonna continue working on this guy. And then lastly, the last item we have is for the movie Friday the 13th, a summer themed item. And, oh wait, no, sorry, I have one more product after that. Um, this one, uh, it's a summer themed item. I am using Twist of Watermelon Fragrance Lotion, body lotion thing. I mean, <laughs> we're in the dead of winter, so a summer theme item was rough, but this has watermelons. Watermelon to me is just summer. It's definitely not season appropriate scent, so it's it's taken me a little while to use it. I started over here. My goal is to get to this point and I'm currently over here. So we've got a few uses left in this baby. Now, the last item that I do wanna talk about. And now the last item I wanna talk about is for the movie Sleep Away, Sleep Away Camp, a product that wasn't what you expected. And for me, I'm using the YSL, uh, what's the actual name? Touche Claw Radiant Touch uh, Eye Brightener. And let's see, I think, I really think, okay, so I have it in the shade 2.5. I'm like, what shade do I have? I have the shade 2.5. It's not what I thought because this does not do much concealing. 
it does much brightening and highlighting under my eyes. So if I put my concealer and then just use it strategic strategically to brighten my under eye area, that's what I think about this one. I bought it thinking that it's a concealer, but it's really not. It does not do a very well job concealing. Um, my goal was to use it 13 times. So far, I've used it five times. I've got quite a bit to go, but I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that this is in the project. It does not live where the rest of my project pen items do. I have to move it. And that is it, you guys. That's my update for Nightmare on Panning Street. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!